Kathy and Jeff here. This video will introduce you to Grade 6, Unit 2. The duration for this unit is four weeks. Students will be introduced to Grade 6 Engineering Standards, ETS 1-1, 1-5, and 1-6. So to address these standards, students must define the criteria and constraints of a design problem. They need to create a visual representation to a solution and communicate that solution to an intended user. Let's take a look at the Moodle site for Unit 2. In the Moodle site, we're in Unit 2, Introduction to Engineering. You'll see all of our modules developed the same way with the duration, in this case the unit is four weeks long, our big ideas and our essential questions. As you scroll through the module, you'll see the unit planning guide, which is your unit two curriculum map. Open the curriculum map to see the standards for this unit. You'll also get a sense of what students should know and be able to do, a vocabulary list with your tier one, two, and three words, and again, big ideas, essential questions. As you move through the module, there's a PDF for the engineering design process. This comes from our new 2016 standards and gives an explanation for each of the steps. You'll see the documents you need to do the activity. We're gonna show you in a minute, technology in a bag. A teacher contributed an egg drop lab and some additional resources. As we move through the module, you'll see that we've provided resources for you and some videos. This Crash Course for Kids YouTube playlist has an extensive playlist of videos that would address engineering. There's a YouTube video, seven minutes, um, explaining this engineer, Richie Parker, a NASCAR engineer who was born with no arms. It's a really kind of motivational, inspirational video. We also have Discovery um, Ed Greatest Inventions. Looking through some of these websites, great ideas and lessons for engineering. I want to bring you to two of them. One is Engineering is Elementary. When you get to Engineering is Elementary, I want to bring your attention to EIE Storybooks. This will give you a sense of some different storybooks you could use in your class where you read the story to the children. It's a real life scenario of a young person who's facing a challenge that they want to solve a problem. These EIE storybooks, we do have available for loan. You can just email Jeff to get a copy. The other website is Design Squad. This is a fabulous website and you can see there's some videos, um, design and build. As we scroll down and click on building, there are some different activities, very easy, cheap and easy materials, seismic shakeup, a speedy shelter, a paper table. This is the website I'd like you to go to um, and choose some activity from build as your explore in this unit. Continuing on in our module, you'll see we have teacher content PD resources. These resources will help you be able to teach a unit on engineering. We've created some PD videos. These are for you as teachers that will help give you some more content information as you want to teach this unit. Um, introducing engineering, a little discussion about the marshmallow challenge, who are engineers. And finally, this suggested book list for engineering a story. When you open that up, you'll get a list of the books. Most of them are EIE, but we also have a few different ones. The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind, Iggy Peck Architect, Mistakes That Work. All of these books are available in our library by emailing Jeff Glick. We're gonna now show you a must-do activity for Investigation 2. This activity is called Tech in a Bag. Before we even begin the activity, I want to come up with an operational definition for the words technology and engineer as a class. Then we can begin the actual activity. So what do you mean by operational definition? Like how would you do that with students? Together students create a real working definition that they can all agree on. This is opposed to the teacher giving them a definition. Okay, that makes sense to me. So how do you start the activity? Well, as you can see, there's a list of questions to use as prompts, such as what is technology, what's your object, what problem does it solve. There's also a recording sheet. These, do These documents are available on the Moodle. For this investigation, I like to start by modeling what I expect the students to do. I give all of the learning teams a similar object a pen, such as a Sharpie, a pen that clicks on and off, a pen with a pull-off cover. 
Students consider the questions and then discuss with their partners and we compare the results. Then I give the student learning teams their own bag. Each paper bag contains one item that has been engineered. Here's a few examples. A stapler, glue, whiteout, plastic bottle. I'm going to use a plastic spoon as an example in my learning team. I want to consider the questions, what is it? What does it do? What else could it be used for? Uh, how has it evolved? So does the teacher ask these questions or the, like how do you do that? These questions are for the students to guide them in their group dis discourse. After the groups finish their work, they share their object and one or two of the things they found most interesting. Okay, that sounds good. This is a great activity. So how do you manage the materials? Well, in my classroom, I always have these dollar store bins for each of the groups. I plan the paper bag with technology ahead of time. We put the bags in the bin and this makes cleanup easy. Okay, so let's bring this back to the five E's and our planning. The technology in a bag activity could be used as the engage portion of this engineering unit. For the explore, try out an activity from the Design Squad website. This PBS website has a great selection of easy design challenges that use very simple materials. There's also a great section for engineering careers. I'd love to see the Engineering of Story project used as the Evaluate. Check out the storybooks from EIE, Engineering is Elementary, and then challenge the students to solve a real-world problem. Additional support for these projects is available on our Moodle site, Unit 2. I have a small library of these EIE books that I'm happy to loan out to you. Send me an email and I'll drop some of them off at your school for you. Well, make sure to check back to this Moodle site in the future because we'll be adding additional resources to each unit throughout the year. So enjoy this engineering with your students. In our experience, this is one of the most engaging topics for our sixth graders and a great way to get them thinking about new career choices or new career paths. Thank you for watching. Jeff, maybe we should change our closing for today? I agree. In this case, engineering, engineering matters. matters.